Hi, I'm Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council with your weekly Anglican Perspective. Uh, I'd like to take a, a pause today from our series on the 39 Articles and comment on what's going on here in America. I've just returned from two weeks in the United Kingdom and while I was there and certainly since I've returned have been profoundly grieved by the shootings that have taken place and the violence in our own country. Uh, we have on the one hand uh, what many consider to be very unjust uh, shootings uh, of African-American men uh, by police officers. On the other hand, we have what appear to be retaliatory shootings of police officers. And we have violence all over our country, uh, exposing the, the divisions we have amongst our own people here in America uh, and problems with racism. So I was really encouraged last night by something I was invited to attend. Uh, it was called Lilburn United. I live in a little town uh, just a little bit northeast of Atlanta uh, in the Lilburn Stone Mountain area and all of the pastors in Lilburn and their congregations came together in the Lilburn City Park for a time of prayer. I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know if it was going to be a concert or a three-hour prayer meeting. But what I saw really, uh, really encouraged me and blessed me deeply. I saw about an equal number of African-American and white people all gathered together talking with each other. I saw children. I saw youth. I saw uh, singles. I saw married people. I saw elderly. Uh, people of all uh, backgrounds present. Uh, there was some worship music, but really it was all about prayer. And the people who got up, black and white, uh, uh, leaders of their churches, uh, Pentecostal, Baptist, Methodist, Roman Catholic, all got up and witnessed to the power of Jesus Christ to heal racial divisions. And not only to work uh, justification and sanctification in our lives, if you will, but to achieve reconciliation between black and white, rich and poor. Uh, I was touched by the way that people prayed. Uh, I was really challenged uh, as we went into small groups. Uh, I was invited to pray with a group of pastors, even though I don't have a church in Lilburn. They warmly welcomed me, and we uh, held hands and and uh, uh, gathered together in a circle and, and prayed for police officers. We prayed for the mayor. We prayed for people in our churches. We prayed for those who've been unjustly shot. We prayed for the families of police officers who've lost their lives. We prayed for people who have suffered uh, uh, injustice uh, at the hands of leaders of our own country. Uh, we did identificational repentance for uh, things we did to uh, Native Americans in the Trail of Tears that probably passed through Lilburn Park itself. And in seeing this diverse body of Christians come together, I saw hope for America. I saw the ability for us to gather together and talk with each other and share our fears and our hopes it reminded me of a passage in Hebrews where the author of Hebrews says that though these people who were living by faith did not receive the things promised and saw them and welcomed them from a distance, in faith uh, they, uh, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God for he has prepared a city for them. And you know, this was the people of God coming together longing for a better country and looking to the city of God uh, that awaits us when we get to heaven, but saying, you know, we can have a taste of that now. We can see God's kingdom come together now as we cross racial divides and in the love of Jesus take authority over the spirit of violence and actually do reconciliation. I pray that's a model 
for all of our Anglican churches and all of you leaders who are listening to this today. 